Hello. Hello and welcome to climbingalrus.com. My name is Dan Holiday, and for this video, I'm just gonna give you a real basic tip. This is like, this is beginner stuff, but it sh it should help you out. So uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around, and I'm gonna show you what we've got first of all. So uh, oh, there's Connor Quail. He's done an excellent job of setting up the site. So we've got this big, well, not big, but decent size uh, cedrus, uh, deer dar cedar, that is coming down. So I'll just, there's another one next door, but this one's coming down. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool looking there. But what I'm gonna do is give you just a simple tip about using what, well, the length of rope you're using. So if you see here, I've got, this is my short rope. It's like a 60, 70 foot rope. Connor, Connor, why why would you use a short rope? Why, like what's the benefit? You have to pull up less rope and there's less rope on the ground to get tangled with all the branches and stuff like that. Exactly, so I'm gonna use a short rope. So by the time I'm up top, um, so the trees, the trees may be 60, 65 feet. So my tying point will maybe like be like 50. So if I climb on a station rope system and I've got like a 70 foot rope, I've got enough tail on the ground, but there's only gonna be like 10 foot for Connor to like, you know, for it not to get tangled with. There's less for me to be like moving around, flaking around. If ever I need to redirect, there's less tail for me to pull through. Um, you know, less tail to get snagged on stubs and branches that are on the ground, especially if if Connor's not able to keep up quick enough um, and I keep dropping branches, then there's less likelihood of those getting, um, those trapping like 20, 30, 40 feet of my rope. Uh, it's just easier, it's easier to manage your rope when you have a shorter rope, if you know before you start that you'll only need a certain length. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna spur up. And at first I'll be using double rope as I kind of work my way up. So you can see I'm nearly at the top where I'm gonna rope into, just in there somewhere. I just had to lower my saw down because I didn't put a fully charged battery in. And you can see I've got enough tail to get down on a moving rope system here. And I've probably got another you know, like six foot with rope stretch. So I know at this point I, I could get down in an emergency and then I'm just gonna rope a tie in a, a, a touch higher. So um, the rope's long enough for this tree, even moving rope for emergency on the way up, which is something you would need to think about. When I get to a, a good tying point, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just choke it off with the end of my rope because Obviously, I'm taking the tree down, so I'm gonna. Well, it doesn't matter that I don't have like a, a way to retrieve the rope because I'm gonna go all the way to the top, come down, strip the branches, then I'll be back up at the top to 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 piece down the stem. So if we see, I'm tied in up there. Come down, my rope goes kind of loops back around the trunk, and then. I've just got that tiny bit of a tail on the end so it can't get dragged out by Connor very easily and it doesn't get buried in brush. So that is the beauty of the short tail. Your first rope should be a long rope, should be a, I don't know, 150 foot or a 200 foot rope. Then if you have the funds to have a shorter rope, like a 70, 80 foot rope, it definitely comes in handy for certain jobs. So that's my one basic uh, tip for you guys and girls today and as always if you know somebody who would find this video really helpful and you don't have the time to spend and teach them this kind of stuff then please share this video with them <laughs>